You've probably noticed that some of your photos get a lot more likes and comments than others. But what is it about a photo that makes it go viral among your friends? What is it that makes you look more attractive in some of your photos and less attractive in others? There's an actual method that is well known among key influencers in the industry. Today guys, I'm gonna let you in on these really big secrets. I'm even gonna tell you the one thing that Gigi Hadid, Lauren Conrad, and Kim Kardashian all do to make themselves more attractive on Instagram. What is the secret to taking a, a good selfie? Is there more than one? There is. So let's start with Camila Cabello. One thing you'll notice right away about Camila's selfies is that she almost always tilts her head down and to the right, like this. Clearly, she has figured out that this is her best angle. And actually, this isn't just Camilla's best angle. This is actually almost everyone's best angle. So first of all, most people tend to find women's faces more attractive and feminine if their chin is down, as if we're looking at them from above. So I always put my chin down because it just makes no double chin. Okay. Chin down, get the lighting. Click. Funny enough, men's faces are actually judged as like more masculine if their chin is tilted up. Up. Go figure. We also tend to find other people's left side as more attractive than their right. And this could be because our left side is controlled by the right side of our brain, which is thought to be the side of the brain that controls emotions. So without even realizing it, we just find that more appealing. So the first cardinal rule of taking your perfect selfie is that you definitely want to tilt your head down into the right, which shows off your left side. Literally every model and celebrity does this so much more than we realize, and it's only when you know this little trick that you start to notice everyone else doing it. If your face is even slightly asymmetrical, which is really, really likely because we aren't plastic dolls made in a factory, you can hide it by turning your face to one side. One major problem with most selfies today, and this makes people's faces look really asymmetrical, is the fact that most of our phones have cameras with a wide lens. And a wide lens can warp the picture, making your nose look about 30% wider than it actually is. And guys, I love wider noses they're beautiful too, but if this is your face, it's not a really great depiction of your own face's natural ratio. So that's why you're gonna notice that a lot of the selfies that celebrities like Kylie Jenner post aren't actually selfies at all. They're just photos taken by someone else who's slightly farther away from them. And when she doesn't have an assistant around, she usually goes for the old mirror trick, such as this one. So if you wanna create this effect too and make your face look more symmetrical, you can get the same effect using your phone's camera timer feature. So now that you know how to hold your head and the distance your selfie should be, now you can also employ another trick that social scientists have now figured out. And that's that people find themselves a lot more attracted to those they see in expansive poses. So an expansive pose means having your arms and hands visible and open rather than hidden or crossed. So for me personally on my Instagram, I love jumping in a photo because this is a great way to like be expansive but also have a lot of fun. Or you can try throwing up your hands in the air or holding a fun drink in your hand and opening your arm away from you to open up your body language. I think this looks a lot more organic than simply standing and posing. You will notice that these pics you post get a lot more likes and comments than your other ones. So if you really like Kylie Jenner, you're gonna notice that she very frequently poses in this way too. And I like it because it shows that you're confident, honest, and very open to the viewer. It's like a very open, welcoming stance, and we all love that on Instagram. Someone who I love who shows a lot of confidence on Instagram is model Brie Kish. I like her because she loves to display her very, very lively personality in her wardrobe and her accessories and her hairstyles. But guys, she's also a girl who's super proud of her body and she just isn't afraid to show it off as she does here. If you've ever worried that your size or shape isn't right for Instagram, I think that Brie is a really good example of how you really don't need to be a certain size or shape to look gorgeous, especially when you radiate that confidence. So it's really about confidence first and body positioning and angle and all that stuff second. I always find personally that I appear the most interesting and confident when I take a photo photo in a place where I feel the most confident and usually in the outfit that makes me feel my best. So it could be in the boardroom, the gym, even the nail salon or classroom. Like I don't care where it is guys, like whatever makes you feel great. For me, bold colors also make me feel very confident, so I tend to add a lot of bold colors and statement pieces to my own feed, and I think these really convey confidence as well. And when I do post these, I find that these photos typically do better than the other photos on my feed. Now, if you wanna just get more likes on an Instagram or social post, you might wanna take a look at what Kim K is doing here. She's doing what Tyra Banks taught us all to do way back in 2008 or whatever year it was, and she is smizing. Smizing is just squinting and like, you know, doing that thing and really 
enhancing and pulling them in. The funny thing about Kim is that she literally never smiles in photos. Like I look at her entire feed and she is deadpan. Like she's not smiling ever. So when we see her finally smile with her eyes, like in my opinion, this is one of her most attractive photos ever. People don't typically feel like they can connect with Kim, but in this photo, they really can. And the same thing goes for you. When people feel like they can connect with you or like you're not hiding your emotions, they will be drawn to you. And, and that's just the way it is. You're gonna start noticing this guys across the whole Instagram spectrum. Out of all the people you follow, you are gonna find the people who smile to be just way more likable than the people who don't. However, guys, please remember that the best smiling selfies are not just people showing off their teeth. This will not suffice. It has to be about showing that genuine emotion in your eyes the way that Brie does here. Now you're also going to notice that you get more likes when you're trying not to look too mature. It's so weird, but people also unconsciously prefer women who look like they're in their prime baby making state. So you tend to look your most attractive when you do seem younger than your actual age and when you appear to be in excellent health. I love Zendaya because she's really great at wearing minimal makeup that makes her skin glow and makes her cheeks just look a little bit flushed. So to create this effect, you want to keep your makeup looking very young and fresh in your perfect Instagram selfie and even when Zendaya wears a little bit more makeup for like an evening look as she does in this photo she really plays up her eyes making them look gigantic so this kind of makes her look like she's younger and a lot more youthful and fresh than maybe she even really is in real life so what's youthful about you is it your clear skin is it your symmetry are you super curvy or do you have really really big eyes and when you do highlight like your most youthful feature you're probably going to notice that you have the highest engagement you have ever had guys i really do not have great skin like i break out like a teenager i just get the craziest breakouts and i don't even have a rockin body right now i am on a fitness journey after gaining 70 pounds during my last pregnancy i will share more about that with you guys another day let me know if you want a full video on this because it is it's a journey it's a journey guys <laughs> but my favorite feature is my big eyes so I like to play these up in photos and really have a lot of fun with them now I bet you guys are still wondering what Lauren Conrad Gigi Hadid and Kim Kardashian all have in common I know these three could not be more opposite from each other but there's something that these guys do as well as many many other influencers that really make their Instagram stand out and I'm gonna tell it to you guys right now a perfect photo photo that will resonate with your audience should reflect the overall feeling or brand that you want to portray. So whether you're an actual influencer or you're just watching this video and you're like, I literally don't care about my brand, you do still have a brand and a brand personality. So for example, I bet you think that Kim Kardashian doesn't have a brand strategy for her Instagram. It looks like she kind of just posts whatever photo she likes or that she looks hot in. She's just an influencer, blah, blah, blah. It all happens in the moment and she posts a few seconds later. No, that does not happen. Well, we know that Kim is known for being sexy. So can we guess what her brand colors are? Okay guys, let's just take a look at her feed. Ooh, interesting. Kim uses red to convey passion and power as her brand. Color psychology is truly a thing, guys. If you want to convey an awesome personalized image, use color psychology to your advantage. So as we scroll down Gigi's feed, you'll see she uses a lot of brown and earthy tones, and these really convey authenticity and warmth, like you just want to be her best friend. When I look at Lauren Conrad's feed, I say, wow, that looks really pure and fresh, but also really warm and creative. And that's not a coincidence, guys. She uses a combination of pastel pink, brown, and white to convey these feelings. So take a good hard look at these colors once again and decide who you want to be on Instagram and then use those colors in your posts. Guys, it works. Now the truth is you're probably overlooking your most killer tool for Instagram that could help you get the most possible likes and you have no idea that you're not using it properly. And that is your friends. If you wanna catch people's attention more often, you might wanna try posing with your besties, indicating to everyone following you that you're an engaging person whom people wanna be around. And it actually boosts your physical attractiveness. Now take a close look here at Meredith Foster's profile. I love her because she loves posting with her friends. And this has also kind of established her as one of YouTube's sweethearts. Who 
always kind of want to know what she's doing and with whom. This really helps create like a beautiful friendly image of her on her Instagram. I think this YouTuber Marla Catherine also does a really, really good job of this. So the reason why this happens is because something called the cheerleader effect takes place in people's brains when they're posing with other people. It makes us think that individual faces seen in a group are actually better looking than when they're alone. Something that always makes me laugh is when people are always asking their friends to just take photos of only them. But if you want more interaction on your Instagram and to have a little bit more fun, try asking your friends to get in the photos with you. And this can portray like that image of confidence, fun, and even make you seem better looking. And that is not a joke. Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make on Instagram that really kills their engagement is that all the photos are way too similar and it kind of feels one dimensional. So if you're taking nothing but selfies, you're definitely gonna wanna switch this up a bit and incorporate a bunch of other types of photos too. You know, I don't take selfies anymore. I don't really like them. So an interesting way that I love to do this is to do a from where I stand photo. So I do these in my room, a cute cafe, or even on my front porch where I can get super cute photos that show kind of where I am and what I'm up to. So some of my favorite things, like a stack of the favorite books you're reading right now, a landscape or something that I made, like a cake, a present, a delicious meal, whatever it is that I'm doing that day. And I find these add a lot of depth to my feed. Now, of course, like this video is about making a great selfie. And I guess like the point of this one is not to help you create a better selfie, but rather just like make sure that you are incorporating other types of photos as well. Um, amongst all of the beautiful selfies that you are taking. Okay guys, I hope you learned a thing or two about taking the perfect selfie. Don't forget to leave your handle down below. If you want a little bit of feedback, you might just get some from me. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Ask Kimberly, and of course, follow me on Instagram right here. And guys, I'll see you next week for another video all about relationships. Bye-bye.